lovely people. Thanks so much for popping by again to see us here at Cruise First TV. In this show with Polly and Derek, it's time to have fun in the sun as we set sail with Carnival Cruise Line on exciting sunshine getaways for early next year. And let's face it, Polly, after our lack of sunshine this year, we deserve it. Oh, we really, really do. Now, let's take you to one of my favourite places first as part of an Eastern Caribbean break with Carnival for February. Now, we're heading off for 11 nights in all and we're flying first out to Miami for a whopping three nights in a hotel first. What an amazing place this is. Whether you just want to relax on the beach or people watch on the beach or head down to Key Largo, there's loads of dolphin reserves there and you can go swimming with dolphins or Aww. just kind of watch them in their sanctuaries. Absolutely beautiful. Cute. Very, very cute. And there's so many different areas of Miami. You've got South Beach. I mean, the Art Deco buildings, Windward Walls, where there's just graffiti everywhere, but it's the most beautiful art and it's on all the buildings. It's just a really, really buzzy place with so much going on. You'll have the best time then. It's so lovely that you've got three nights there before joining a Carnival Celebration for your week around the Caribbean. Just fantastic. Now, you love Carnival. Whenever we talk about Carnival, you, you always get, there's a little smile in your face because you said it was just one of the most fun experiences you've had when yeah, cruising. Yeah, it was one of, the, one of the first or earlier cruises um, that I did with Carnival. Um, and it's great to see different cruise lines and how they all have their different personalities. And Carnival is focused on fun. And it's focused on fun for everyone. Yes, it's great for families because it's great if you have got the kids with you. But you've got the most amazing uh, atmosphere whoever you take on a carnival cruise because there's always something going on there's always music playing there's always places where you can go and escape from all of that if you want to in absolute peace and quiet on a big old lounger the dining is brilliant because it is very very american you know and you, if you're in america i was in vegas recently you go from one restaurant concept to another and they're all very very different well, you've got all of that going on with all the carnival restaurants as well. So you can go super, super casual if you want to. You can try new things, you know, go and try seafood combinations or, you know, uh, American dishes that you've never tried before, food from around the world. The most fabulous, fabulous spa on board as well, which you'll love. So again, super, super exciting. And then you've got things like Bolt, the roller coaster, which just come out of the blue. <laughs> a roller coaster on a cruise ship. Like Why not? <laughs> yeah, like you do. So you've kind of got, you know, all the theme parks that you associate with America, all the dining that you associate with America, bright colours and music that you associate with America, all on this really, really fun ship. And I think actually, you know what, the more bright and vibrant and colourful and varied a cruise ship is, the more of an escape it is completely and utterly. And you're not forever dipping into your pocket on a Carnival cruise, so much included in the price of your fare as well. Just think you're gonna have an amazing time. This could cruise to nowhere and back and you'd have just the most amazing holiday. The fact that you've got destinations is a massive bonus. So let's go out to the Bahamas from Miami. Oh, lovely. I mean, when, when you see the Bahamas to me, I just think, yeah, I just wanna relax on a beach. But if that's not your thing and you want to do something a bit more active, you can discover the history of piracy in the Bahamas. Uh, the Pir Pirate Museum as well. You can learn about Blackbeard and explore shipwrecks as well. A day at sea and you'll arrive in Grand Turk. Now you are there when it is whale watching season so you might be lucky enough to go on a tour and spot humpback whales migrating through the waters. Wouldn't that be a special sight? Next we're going to uh, Amber Cove. Here they've got Ocean World Adventure Park where if you want to go swimming with dolphins, if you didn't quite get up to it in Miami you can give it a go here. You can see animal shows and explore an amazing aquarium or just relax on those beautiful beaches you're in a very sunny beautiful part of the world a couple of days at sea and it's back to Miami where you'll get your flight home wow sunshine and fun and you know that this time of the year um, it's going to be great weather out in the Caribbean as well and, and listen I know we obsess with weather um, in the UK but can we just talk about this year for a second do we have to it's just hasn't it just been a bit of a damp squib this year it's just been a bit up and down, the odd afternoon of sunshine, but nothing really you could get your teeth into during the summer. You only have to have a look out in your own garden and kind of see, well, you know, that was a bit of a write off this year, maybe next year. So if you feel like you've been a bit cheated out of sunshine and good weather this year here in the UK, this is your chance to kind of take your revenge if you like, because this is a bit of a late deal if you think about it. It comes up in January and think about how close January is. I mean, you know, it's almost time to get the tree out of the loft again. 
which makes me shiver just thinking about it. You can book this offer today and get yourself a nice sunshine getaway for January. Deposit today of just £199 each to grab the offer. That's your flight out to Miami, three nights there in a hotel, longer if you want, we can always add to it, not a problem whatsoever. A week of carnival cruising on the Eastern Caribbean and the Bahamas there on the carnival celebration, which is one of the newest of the carnival ships as well. And just to round things off beautifully, if you really need a break and a sunshine break for January, check out this price tag. We've got regional flights available for a supplement on this as well. 1299. I mean, that really, if you think about it, maybe you thought, okay, you know, money's a little bit tighter and whatever so i won't make grand holiday plans for this year we'll do something in the uk we'll you know we'll enjoy the summer here in the uk and we'll you know keep things low key this year and then you've just been cheated out that summer one way or the other you know it's been the odd one or two days here or there and you're just thinking right i'm fed up i need a holiday i need to escape i need to go and see the sun i, I just just need that guarantee of some lovely weather i need to go off and have a good time I mean, when you look at this price tag and what you're getting for that, and remember that includes three nights in Miami in a hotel. If you wanted to max that out to seven nights or even more, then you could also do that. Maybe you also want to combine another stay with that. Maybe you want us to fly you out to Orlando first and have a few nights in Orlando, then go down to Miami and take the cruise. No problem whatsoever. There are other dates for this particular package as well running uh, as soon as November, right the way through to, get this, right the way through 2025, 2026, and now into February of 2027. That's the first time I've said 2027, I think, on this channel. We're already booking holidays into it. Uh, and again, if you want to tailor the stays whatsoever, you can do that. Just talk to the team when you book. No problem there whatsoever. Let's look at upgrades then for the cruise of this. Remember, it's seven night cruise on the Carnival Celebration there. So there is your balcony price there at 199. I think we've only got the balcony upgrade uh, uh, as an available because this is such a kind of late deal. It goes in January, so a lot of people are booked on it already. So it looks like a pretty popular cruise. So if you want to add yourself to it, um, deposit today of just 249 per person. Uh, and the price tag of just 1299, which is incredible. 0800 953 4700 is your free phone number to call. And, and listen, you know, there are loads and loads, honestly, of late deals that you can grab right now. So if you're feeling like you really need some guaranteed sunshine, you know, maybe Christmas in the Canaries or Christmas in the Caribbean or whatever. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying Christmas already, but it's so close, isn't it? But if you need that escape, we will find it for you. Just call the team 0800 953 4700. And remember, as our name suggests, it's cruises that we deal with first and our reputation is incredible. With over 20 years of travel experience, when booking with Cruise First, you're dealing with the cruise specialists. We can tailor make the perfect holiday for you, adding hotel stays and exciting land tours so you can fully immerse yourself in the destinations you're visiting. As a fully bonded member of APTA and Atoll Protected, you have the peace of mind that your booking is safe with us. We've been on your TV screens for over a decade, and we guarantee the best cruise prices. If you find one of our offers cheaper elsewhere on TV, then we'll match or beat that price. We allow you to spread the cost of your holiday with many of our deals. Just pay a deposit today, and then you have until your due date to pay your balance. Plus, we're one of the highest rated cruise agents on Trustpilot with over 6,000 independent reviews so you can be fully confident when booking your next holiday with Cruise First. Yeah, we need to get you on a carnival cruise as well. You, you need to you need to get with the carnival vibe. I think you'll really, really love it. I mean, it. half of me is like, that looks really exhausting. And half of me is oh. like, get me there. That looks fun. Well, see, that's the thing. It's not exhausting at all because it can be very, very relaxing. You can just kind of go with the flow, you know, flow with the tide, so to speak. But with those exciting things, when you fancy just that little thrill or that little mm. adventure, 
it's mm. there on the ship as well. You haven't got to wait until you get to a destination to find something you know special to do. It's all there on the ship as well, if you want it. And you know, you're as happy watching other people yes. doing it yeah, this as you are of actually doing it. It's true. Right, we've still got some no-fly quick picks on the way, but for our next search for the sun, we'll take us to the Mexican Riviera for February. It's 11 nights again, and it's leaving on the 26th of February, where we fly off to Los Angeles from our pre-cruise stay this time. And we've got you booked in for three nights in La La Land. Have you been? Oh, I have been to LA. Oh, okay, and it's right. everything you imagine it to be. I mean, that's where Deo drives, seeing those shops, that kind of pretty woman moment. And that's the thing, you've seen all these spots on films, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Actually seeing them up close is, is wow. Even just a cafe you might have seen in your favorite TV program. Mm -hmm. And you do see celebrities. I was once just in some regular cafe and there was someone at the time the TV program was Desperate Housewives and he was just on the table next to me having breakfast. Like, that's amazing and they did all the cheesy things you know the picture by the Hollywood sign there you go it's just a really really lovely exciting place lots to do but you can just relax at the beach if you want to as well lots going on then so you've got three nights there before joining Carnival Panorama wow for your seven night of excitement and fun now because the summer shield this would make for a great kind of if all the family was getting together wouldn't yeah. it you know you've you've got the grandparents and the grandkids because i think some some kids maybe when they get to that teenagery stage they sort of still want to go away with the parents but perhaps keeping them entertained is, is a little a little bit more tricky whereas here wow well you'd only have to show them the video of this wouldn't you yeah and and they'd be on board straight yeah. away pardon the pun they, but, they, but they would go for it, wouldn't they? I mean, if you showed them pictures in a brochure of, yes. you know, a, a park in a forest where you could go cycling and walking through the forest, yeah. not such an exciting prospect, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Do you Everyone's know different. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. different, but, but a water this. park shows yeah. and all the big kids in us. Like my husband would love it. You know, you yeah. think, see all these activities. This would be him. He'd be first in line doing all the ropeway and doing all the amazing things. Yeah, but also, you know, like when when a party breaks out up on top deck, because it just does, yeah, doesn't do. it? Sporadically. Yeah, yeah. Because this is an American cruise line, so it's brash and it's loud and it's proud and it's great yeah. and it's really good. And and even if you're a bit more of a sit down and stop person, you will find you'll just get carried away with it. Yeah. And, and again, that's all part of a holiday escape. We sometimes forget, you know, we go on holidays for very functional reasons sometimes, don't we? I want to visit this museum, mm -hmm. this landmark, this thing. True. And actually you forget sometimes, just have fun yeah, as well. Yeah, switch off or yes. switch, switch into a different mode. Be that big kid again where, yeah. you know, you, you could just enjoy yourself and not be worrying about all the things at home. This is the place to do it. And it's funny you just say switch off there because the tagline for Carnival is switch on the thumb. <laughs> it, well, it, there yeah. you go. You know on your TV where you can mode, AV mode, TV mode, whatever yes. mode, you need to get the, the remote for your brain and go into a different mode. Yeah. yeah fun switch into it switch into that mode yeah it's just going to be You'll the best it. time and i mean there's so much more we could say you can go and have a look online ring us we'll tell you all about the dining options yeah. the entertainment options all the fantastic state rooms it's amazing so you're going to be cruising out of la and arriving in mexico in puerto vallarta i mean here it's this part of the world where you've just got amazing beaches amazing weather which means great water sports snorkeling swimming diving there's a great uh, swim with the dolphin experience that's just incredible wow you're there as well and next it's Mazatlan now there's a lot of you want to do something a bit more historical there's 19th century colonial architecture coated in vibrant colors there's a buzzy seaside promenade just to sit and do some people watching as well there's performers and traditions and all things like that going on while you're there then it's Cabo San Lucas now this is kind of known as like the party the party place to go but actually there's some gorgeous things there's a trip to the waterfalls in the desert at the Canyon of the Fox uh, you can take a dip in the El Choro hot springs and see See all the gorgeous marine life at Cabo Palmo. Lovely. A day at sea, back to LA where it's time for the flight home. See, that's perfect, isn't it? Yes. And you know, you might know nothing about Mexico, but you can see the, Im the images there and the kind of things that you can do there. I mean, you're, you're so, in Mazatlan, you're so all over a tequila tour, even if it's not a thing that you've even <laughs> tried, or maybe you tried it some years ago and thought, oh, that was a night I'll never forget. Um, but to actually go and watch it being made and have a little bit of a tasting, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Um, this is another late deal, actually, isn't it? If you think about it, because it rolls around in February very, very soon indeed again you can book with deposits today just 249 pounds each and that is your flight from the uk out to la i don't think you'll sleep for a single second on that flight because you'll be very very excited when you get there 
you've got three nights in a hotel which is wonderful and again we can always make that three nights more for you not a problem then you've got your week on board the carnival panorama down the mexican riviera and of course your flat flight back from la at the end of the cruise and your price tag again for this one we are serving up just incredible price tags in this show and again on this offer we've got regional flights available for a supplement as well so this will be based on a london flight at 1199 per person what an incredible holiday and that is one that you can very very easily add more nights in la just to eke out that holiday i mean it's 11 nights right now three extra nights to make it a fortnight no problem at all now this package also runs from November this year through to March as well. So there are other dates at other prices as well. Let's look at your upgrades for Ocean View and Balcony then on this particular one. Oh, very easy, aren't they? Both of them very, very easy. So if you wanted to try Carnival for the first time, but you're thinking, right, okay, you know, all that fun going on might be a little bit too much. We'll go for the balcony upgrade, have room service every day sent to your balcony cabin. I don't, you'll, you'll love it though. Honestly, you'll love getting involved with all the things that go on on the ship. You'll love the array of dining as well. Um, really great from grab and go by the pool with Guy's Burgers and things like that, which are super, super yum, yum, naughty, yum. but wonderful. Naughty, but nice. It's like the equivalent of opening up that. Uh, what's that thing that we all have at Christmas that's in different segments and whatever? Terry's chocolate orange. Thank you very much. That's It's the equivalent of that. A guy's burger on a cruise <laughs> somewhere sunny is the equivalent of, of opening up one of those chocolate, what do you call it again? A Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, <laughs> Open up, opening up one Are of those. Are they only at available at Christmas? Well, you feel like you only go for them <laughs> yeah, at Christmas, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this is such a lovely opportunity. As Polly says, you know, just go you two as a couple or get the whole family together. At a price like this, get the whole family together. If you all feel like you need a bit of a I don't know, a little bit of a holiday reward, then this will absolutely do it for you. And bear in mind on that particular offer there, as you're sailing down the Mexican Riviera, if you want to stay on board rather than get off at the ports and whatever and go and do the adventures there, no problem whatsoever. And remember on a port day, because lots of people are going off and doing excursions, you kind of feel like you've got the ship to yourself. <laughs> but you can VIP do more, you've experience. got more space. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Right, we've got some quick picks coming soon for next year and into 2026 with Carnival cruising out of Dover. But first we're heading off to the wonders of the South Pacific and Australia for a 22 night adventure for the 16th of May next year. We'll first fly over to Sydney in Australia with plenty of time to explore. We've got you booked into a hotel for two nights before we cruise. Wow. This looks good. What a way to start. You know it's going to be pretty amazing holiday when you're just starting with two nights in Sydney in a hotel. Lovely. I mean, there's so many things in Sydney. I can reel them off, but you just know them in your head, don't they? Like um, going to the Opera House, seeing the Sydney Harbour Bridge. If you're a bit more adventurous, though, you can actually climb and do the walkway up the Sydney Harbour Bridge, but you've got to be quite brave to do that. And it takes quite a while and you've yeah. got to be quite fit as well. But to to say that you've done yeah. it, that's the thing. Oh, to come yes. back from a holiday like this and to say that you've done it would be absolutely fantastic um, to do. And of course, you port out and you sail out under the Harbour Bridge as well, because that's where the cruise ships actually come out of, which is wonderful, because you'll see the other cruise ships, because quite a lot of cruise ships come in and out um, of the port in Sydney as well. Uh, we actually make um, shows for one of our Australian brands as well. So we talk about this from the Australian perspective a lot. And this is one of Australia's most favorite ships, the Carnival Splendor. Ah. She does lots of uh, occasions and theme cruises through the years as well. So she'll do like a Christmas or she does a Grinchmas in July cruise. <laughs> she does like Halloween cruises, all kinds of special cruises. She's a great fun ship. Um, and of course, all of the carnival thrills and spills that you expect um, on board with Carnival. So lots of colour, lots of life, lots of smiles, lots of music, lots of bright and vivacious things to do on board. I mean, this cruise very much is about where we're going for us. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about the, the destinations. But in between that, whether you've got the kids with you, whether you've got, you know, loads of generations of the family with you, 
you're all going on this massive big adventure but you're smiling and laughing all of the way through it it's like one big party but if you aren't going with kids or you are and you want to escape there is an adults only retreat yeah serenity so you can go and escape there they have a white party and you have to wear as much white as possible which i would be all over i love a i love an opportunity to dress up oh it's a hot the white hot night party which sounds even more exciting as well uh, we saw zeus before didn't we that's the zeusapalooza parade uh, again, that's kind of more like a festival that the kids can get involved in as well. The water park on board looks mm. just so much fun. They Did you good. have a go at that? Yeah, yeah, it's not, oh, yeah, it's not just for the kids. No, it's for everyone. Yeah, for everyone. Did you do everything. You've got to get up there and, and, and do all the slides and be under Do you the get afraid at all? Or do you just go, I'm going for no, it? No, no, you just got to go for it, haven't you? Got to go, really live once, don't we? So you know what, might as well go for it. You'll love the live music everywhere as well. It pops up in the bars. Uh, you've got live music venues, you've got comedy club. Comedy oh, club, I yeah. know, that's fantastic. Love a comedy night and that's great. And of course, it's people from all over the world as well. So different humours, whether whether it's American, Australian or whatever. Absolutely fantastic. It's just going to be so much fun and going to some incredible places as well. So after two nights in Sydney, joining the cruise ship, you're going to be in Lifu in the Loyalty Islands. Here you can explore the local culture, learn about the Kanak culture and traditions as well. You've got stunning beaches as well, like Jinnick Bay. You can enjoy some snorkeling, some hiking, lots of lovely outdoorsy things to do. Uh, Mystery Island is next. Now this jewel is completely uninhabited. It was formerly used as a landing strip during World War II, but today it's just palm trees, uh, really secluded beaches. Oh, no one's living there. So that's going to be a VIP beach day, I think as well. New Meat is next in New Caledonia. You've got Jibeo Cultural Center, which again, it's dedicated to the Kanak culture and heritage. You've got exhibitions, cultural events. You can enjoy the architecture and the gardens are just beautiful beautiful and serene to walk through. A couple of days at sea and we'll arrive in Sydney. So again, there might be some things you want to do while you're there after your sort of two nights at the beginning. Yeah, think, yeah. I need to do that. Uh, Sydney Tower Eye is something you can go up and you can see a view of the whole city from above, which might be worth doing. A couple of days at sea arriving in Airlie Beach the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. It's the main hub for all the reef activities. And of course, you've got access to the Whitsunday Islands as well. Just beautiful, very popular space uh, to relax and wind. I mean, look at the colors of those waters. You just want to get yourself swimming, don't you? Cairns is next. Here, you've got the Japukai Aboriginal Cultural Park. You can learn all about the indigenous Australian culture through performances, arts. So I think that's a lot of things people forget about Australia. There's, it'd be quite interesting to learn all about that Aboriginal yeah. heritage as well. Port Douglas, is is next you can take a great day tour there to explore the great barrier reef of snorkeling i mean the colorful coral would just be amazing if you've ever scuba dived i think this is the place to maybe go on a scuba diving excursion as well some gorgeous scenic cruising of willis island uh, which is just again just so beautiful as well lots of lovely things to do there it's all about being outside it's all about the wildlife um, and enjoying Beautiful, beautiful weather that we don't get very often here, do we? Then it is Tangla Uma. Now, the fun thing to do here is sand tobogganing. You can rent a toboggan or bring your own and you just basically go down the dunes. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, this is an adventure day on Morton Island. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, it, and it feels fairly, you know, it, idyllic and remote as well. But there are so many wonderful activities that you can get involved in uh, as part of your carnival cruise. They love going there. And then we come back into Sydney. Yeah. That's the end of the cruise. And then I'm afraid we need to fly back to the UK. I think no. you'll sleep well on those flights coming back <laughs> to the UK. Weeks on holiday to going to all those amazing places and having all that fun. Yeah, I'll sleep. Yeah. I, I love the fact that with this as well, you have got, you know, you've got the long journey out to Sydney. We can't change that. It's the other side of the world. So that is a, a long, old journey. So you've got a couple of nights in Sydney in a hotel just to get yourself the right way around again and go and explore the city and whatever and get it ready for that exciting cruise. And remember that cruise can be as packed or as relaxed as you want to because actually in, in fairness this is two cruises because of course you come back into Sydney and then you go off in a different direction as well. So you're doing a back to back cruise on this. Such an awesome price for the holiday you're getting as well. You won't believe this. So let's just list what you're getting included in the price tag. So the flight from uh, the UK out to Sydney in Australia. Then you've got two nights in a hotel there. That's all booked in as well for you. 
two cruises on the Carnival Panorama over 18 nights in all on the Carnival Splendor and that's cruising Vanuatu and the South Pacific and then a second cruise to the reef ports of Australia and Tangaluma on Morton Island as well which is the third largest sand island in the world don't you know you end the cruise back in Sydney and then fly back to the UK your deposit today is just £299 per person and your price tag for the whole jolly lot honestly I could not believe this when I saw it it's 2399 it's the kind of price I would look at and think okay well if you're going to do four or five nights in a Sydney hotel by the time you've done the flights there and back and whatever surely that's eaten up that kind of budget very very easily it's ridiculous that you get what is it an 18 night cruise on this for that it is crazy and it's such a popular ship as well you'll be meeting so many people from around the world particularly Aussies as well Aussies love this ship they absolutely adore it wherever it's going they will follow it because they know just how much fun it is here are your upgrades as well on board um, and you've got ocean view and balcony prices there for you which given the length of the cruise both prices are, are pretty good let me tell you on a carnival cruise this is one where i always say to you you will hardly ever be in your stateroom it'll be literally right getting changed i'm ready to do the next thing like you will want to be outside you are already up on top deck you want to be in the party or in the sanctuary you know having peace and quiet one way or the other um, you will not be in your stateroom very long but your staterooms are brilliant so so good everything you need is there uh, but you're literally in and out turning around and then off you go again so listen if you're interested in this one it's not that far away at all comes up in may 0800 953 4700 and don't forget of course you've got the low deposit too right before we go then let's check out some no fly quick picks with carnival and these are trips going in and out of dover as well so ccl 199 is 10 nights on the carnival legend to the ports for dublin glasgow and cork on the 20th of august in 2026 from 1149 per person. Then we've got CCL 200, which is nine nights on the Carnival Legend for the 19th of June in 2026. Again, cruising to and from Dover to France, Denmark, Germany, and Holland from £1,039 per person. But I mean, this is being super, super organized, isn't it, for 2026. Um, CCL 201 is 12 nights on the Carnival Miracle. Again, that's in and out of Dover. That's the 18th of May uh, next year, going up to Iceland and Ireland. And there's a little bit of the Orkneys in that itinerary as well from 999 per person. So that's some examples of some of the no-fly cruising you can do in and out of the UK with Carnival Cruise Lines if you've never been away with them before. They cruise in and out of Dover. And of course, there's not that many cruise ships that cruise in and out of Dover, so it's a very, very easy and slick check-in. Uh, if you are down in London, the southeast, you know, Ham Hampshire, the south of the country, um, very, very easy to get down to Dover. Park there, you know, at the, near the uh, port itself, and you're pretty much guaranteed you're going to be the only cruise ship in that day uh, on most days. So it's very, very easy to get your cruise in and out of there. So if that's a bit more convenient for you from that part of the country. Yes, and Mr. Mr. P has just reminded me, you get the joy of sailing away from Vera Lynn's White Cliffs. <laughs> Will they play it on the speakers? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't. No, I don't. I don't think they do actually. It's probably but not as iconic to other nationalities. You're, you're going to be singing it in your head. Yeah, yeah. Be, all the Brits will be. It's over. <laughs> anyway, listen. Can't sing anymore because I'll have to pay Vera. Because now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for your company, as always, here at Cruise First TV. It's not just about holidays. You get a show as part of this, <laughs> like being on a cruise, anyway, isn't it? Uh, so come back and join us very, very soon for more fabulous holiday ideas from Polly and myself for now take care bye bye